I should probably just start at the beginning. The name's Sly. Sly Cooper, and I'm a thief. From a long line of thieves. In fact, thieving is the family business. And business was good. Although, until recently, I considered myself retired. Having hung up my mask and cane, I was enjoying life on the other side of the law. In the company of a certain lovely Interpol agent named Carmelita Fox. She and I had a history, which generally involved her trying to lock me up. So I should mention our current situation was only possible because she thought I had amnesia. I didn't. It was great to finally enjoy each other's company without a shock pistol being involved, and we quickly put the past behind us. But as time went on, the old itch came back, and I knew I needed to pull a heist. I should also mention that as a master thief, I only steal from other thieves. So it took me a while, but I finally found what I was looking for. My target was an upstart art mogul, a real hotshot collector. He seemed respectable, had even opened a new museum. But I could smell a rat. Reliable sources told me he was dealing in black market antiques worth millions. So I felt he should share the wealth. I was working on a plan when one night, as if on cue, Bentley showed up. Bentley was the brains of our operation, the mastermind. We grew up in the same orphanage where we bonded over stealing cookies, our very first heist. And we've been best friends and partners ever since. We hadn't seen each other for a while, but I knew immediately that something was up. Bentley had been enjoying his time off too, building a new lab from scratch with his girlfriend and fellow tech whiz, Penelope. She had joined the team on our last caper, and the two of them had really hit it off. Apparently, they just finished work on a top secret project when Penelope had simply vanished. Bentley was worried sick. He searched frantically, but found nothing. Then, he noticed something that completely stunned him. In his spare time, Bentley had been researching the Thievius Raccoonus, the Master Thieves' handbook passed down through the Cooper family for generations, its pages overflowing with the exploits and secret techniques of my esteemed ancestors. Only now, those pages weren't so full. In fact, they were disappearing right before Bentley's eyes. Realizing there was no time to waste, he gathered his gear and raced off to Paris. The first thing Bentley did was track down Murray, the third in our trio. Murray was our enforcer, the muscle, and the guy who'd eaten all the cookies we stole back in our orphanage days. Through the years, the three of us had become an unbeatable team and we were more like a family now than a gang. Murray had been living his dream on the pro driving circuit, where his van had become famous, or rather infamous, for all the crashes he'd caused. Eventually, he was unable to find a sponsor due to his high insurance premiums, and he moved into Demolition Derby, where he remained undefeated. When Bentley showed up, however, Murray dropped everything to help out especially when Bentley explained that his van was the key to the whole plan. With Carmelita distracted by a new assignment, I took the opportunity to slip away and met up with the guys at our old Paris hideout. Bentley launched into one of his elaborate presentations and I saw the whole scary picture. Someone or something was literally erasing Cooper history. Then to our amazement, Bentley revealed that he already had the solution, time travel. It turns out his top secret project was constructing a time machine. 
And now he modified the design to fit into Murray's van. We were going to travel back in time, stop those responsible, and fix the damage they'd done. Bentley explained the only catch was that in order to travel to a particular time, the machine required an object from that era. We knew from the changes to the Thievius Raccoonus that our first stop was feudal Japan. So here we were, about to steal a priceless 17th century samurai dagger from the same museum I'd been casing. Funny how things work out sometimes. Okay, you both remember the plan, right? Of course! My mind is like a steel cap! Uh, that's trap, big guy. And everybody relax. We've been over it a million times. What could possibly go wrong? Famous last words. Look, we're only gonna get one shot at this, so we can't mess up! All right, no messing up allowed. Now stop worrying. This is gonna be a piece of cake. I'll see you both inside. Now let's get going. Just another one of my many talents. If you find the need to adjust your perspective on things, you can move the camera around using the right stick. Excellent. It's perfect for peeking around corners. Press the circle button while jumping to interact. Part of the gods will let those choppers fly. If they see you now, we're busted. I think I can handle that. Hey, Bentley, was truck surfing part of Murray's entrance strategy? <gasps> Why do you ask? Uh, no reason. Anyway, it looks like he's in position now. Make sure you stay on these cables, Sly. You can't risk going down to street level right now. Not a problem, Bentley. A good thief prefers to stay above the action anyway. <laughs> looks like the perfect night Whoa. for a heist. Feels good to be back in business. Looks like the Curie is really beefed up tonight. That was too close. Looks 
like it leads right to the roof. See, I told you it would be a piece of cake. <laughs> I'm a little out of practice. You say something, Sly? Uh, no. All good here, Bentley. Okay. It looks like you're going to have to find another way up. Use that ledge to move around to the front of the museum and stay out of that security light. I think I can handle that. I can't believe the security at this place. This better be worth it. I take up your assignment up here. I have some important shipping coming in. Good luck. This is what we have been working for. We must make sure this pressure from the United States comes for the you must understand the Arabian collection that is not the most important. We must make a clear mistake. Remember, Sure looks like somebody spent a fortune on this place. I wonder what kind of surprises they have inside. Move slowly until you're right behind him. When you're close enough, press the circle button to pick his pocket. You might have to try several times until you get the key. behind an enemy and press the trial button to juggle him. Then press the square button to finish him off. Right. I'll make sure he never knew what hit him. Great, Fly. Now use the key to unlock the skylight. Okay, Bentley, I'm in place. Let me know when you shut down the security system. Patience, Sly. You can't rush greatness, and I'm about to code a hacking masterpiece. Interesting. The last time... I was in these sewers, I was just a teenager. Man, this place I Bob should make short work. Well, that was a blast. <laughs> uh, who says turtles are slow? Uh, uh. That's a big jump. I better use the hover pack here. If I jump, then press and hold the X button while I'm in the air, my jets will let me glide a long way. <sighs> Thank you, technology! Yeah. Great, that platform is blocked. I'll have to throw a bomb to clear it off. If I press and hold the L1 button, I can bring up my range fight. That's a direct hit! Yeah. If I fall in that filthy water, I'm buying a new shell. Why didn't I wear my rubber gloves? According to the schematics, the control room is right underneath me. 
All I have to do is find a way in. Some explosive and voila! Instant shortcut! Phew! Talk about your close shapes! How's that security system coming, Bentley? Uh, great! Perfect! I'll be done in a jiffy! I'm giving Sly the sewer job. Now for a patented Bentley hack attack. Commencing hack. Hello, old friend. We have to reach the main docking gate before the security code flushes us from the system. The left stick should navigate the ship. Stick should control the bit cannon. The bit cannon can blast right through that firewall. Bit cannon performing well. Moving while firing is key to cracking this system. Yes, the data key. Dang it, this reinforced firewall is. Too strong for the bit cannon. If I use that upgrade slot, I can engage my Panzer code. Oh yeah, time to bring out the big guns, baby. These gigabomb shells will crush those firewalls. Security drones. I can either dodge them or blast them. Gotta do the trick. The gate is open. Time to dock the ship. And that's the way the code base crumbles. Okay, Murray, you're up. The Murray is always on, Bentley. <laughs> Where did you come from, shortstop? <laughs>
Okay, Sly, the security system is down. You're all clear. Great, I'm going in. What the? You didn't really think you were gonna get away with it, did you, Ringtail? <laughs> Hey, Carmelita! Oh, funny meeting you here. Sly Cooper, you no good lying thief! I'm locking you up for good! Sorry, gotta take a rain check. I'll call you. Cooper! Good evening, this is Sly Cooper. I'd like to request a ride. You, Sly! Now quit dancing around and get down here! We're in the van and ready to roll! Au revoir. Let's hit it. Buckle up, boys! Oh, yeah! Just like in a demolition derby! Look out! Oh, I think I cracked my shell. Watch out for those trees! Where are you going? Just setting up for the jump! Welcome to Air Murray! Thanks for flying! Nice landing, Murray. Hey, Bentley, not to complain, but we're kind of trapped here. Relax, Sly. Just put the dagger in the receptacle. Perfect. Isotopic decay calibrated. Adjusting fusion synthesis. Anytime you want to punch it, Murray. You got it, chum! Do not slow down, Murray! I never do! Whoa! Well, what else can I say about Carmelita? As you can see, our relationship is complicated. And I just succeeded in upgrading it to hazardous. I certainly wasn't expecting her to crash the party. She'd been so busy with her latest case, I never thought she'd have her eye on me. In fact, I'd kind of been counting on it. But then I should have known better than to underestimate Inspector Carmelita Fox. As much as she liked having fun, Carmelita was serious about her police work. And now, I had a lot of explaining to do. But the plan was in motion, and there was no stopping now. Even though I was thinking I'd need the time machine just to patch things up with Carmelita. Before the heist, we'd recruited our disco-loving, scuba-diving friend, Dimitri Listo to look after the Thievius Raccoonus. Because it was irreplaceable and the only guide we had, it was far too risky to take the book through time with us. Bentley had even invented a communication device to allow us to contact Dimitri no matter where or when we travel. It was a perfect situation, since it allowed him to update us on any changes to the book while limiting our exposure to his fashion critiques. Everything was happening so fast. The past few days were just a blur. But as we howled through the time vortex, I realized we were in for a very long trip. We needed to locate Ryuichi Cooper, Master Ninja, and Master Chef. According to the Cooper clan history, Ryuichi Cooper was actually the inventor of sushi. After creating this delectable dish, he opened a sushi restaurant, which, while very prosperous, also provided the perfect cover for a ninja. When we got to Japan, it was obvious something was very wrong. What should have been a peaceful village was more like a heavily patrolled military base. We located Ryuichi Sushi Restaurant only to find it shut down and under guard. Things got worse when Bentley discovered that Ryuichi was locked up in a new high-security jail, allegedly for serving bad sushi to the shogun. It all sounded like a pretty tough piece of fish to swallow. We needed to get to the bottom of the situation, and the first order of business was getting Ryuichi out of prison.
Okay, Sly. We need to break Ryuichi out of jail. I have some ideas, but you know the drill. I need you to do some recon for me. Camera work? Correct mundo, Monami. I need some shots of the prison entrance and the samurai armor those big guards are wearing. You should also grab some shots of Ryuichi's restaurant. We may need those for later. Capish? Uh, yeah. I got you, pal. But maybe we should stick with English. Sayonara, Cooper-san! I can't believe we made it out of Paris in one piece. These guards look like real bruisers. And real ugly, too. That was definitely not his best side. <laughs> Something tells me the inside looks even worse. How will I explain this to Camelita? Time travel? She'll never believe it. needs to know what's behind it. I think the next time I see Carmelita, I'd better duck first and ask questions later. Mm, I love sushi! Fly, there's some kind of commotion outside the little gate house. Go check it out and grab some shots, too! Bentley, remind me to buy you your own camera. This guy definitely looks out of place. I better get a shot of this guy's ugly mug for Bentley. He should be crawling around a tropical jungle somewhere. Why? I'm sure I recognize that guy. He's wanted by Interpol. He's a ruthless mercenary general responsible for overthrowing several small countries. So what kind of mess are we in, Bentley? I don't know, but one thing's certain. My hunch was correct. We are the only ones with a time machine. Your database security, Murray's pants. Whatever, Sly. This is no laughing matter. I've checked, and there really is no way in except for the front entrance. I think there's only one option. The doorbell. Very funny. No, you're going to need a disguise. 
Get yourself a suit of armor from those guards. That's our way in. Roger that. Just call me Samurai Sly. There, open the door. Hmm. A little short to be a commander, aren't you? Who are you? Why, I am Major Mugshot. Huh? Mugshot? I've never heard of you. Ha! Huh. You dare question me? Son, I've been a guard since you were just a squealing piglet. Wait until I tell the general about this. I hear he loves pork chops. Wait, I'm very sorry, sir. I didn't recognize you. Please, go right in. You might want to put on that armor before the guards spot you. That samurai armor should do the trick here.
Ryuichi invented the ninja spire jump. He's awesome! Hey, Ryuichi Cooper! Are you okay? Your guards all seem to make very poor jokes. Come on, I'm not one of those bozos. I'm here to bust you out. The name's Sly. Ah, uh, I see. A fellow ninja. Very good. You will need to make your way to the Dragon Bridge to reach this cage. Hurry up! Okay, I'll be there soon. Just stay put. <laughs> very funny. You might want to put on that armor before the guards spot you. I can't believe they caught Ryuichi. <laughs> they must have gotten lucky. Cooper. I can't believe it. He's a legend. Sly, I don't think you can break the lock on that gate. And even if you could, there's no time. Thanks, Bentley. How about some good news? Look around, Sly. One of these guards must have the key. See, that's more like it.
it appears that shield is composed of the same material as your armor. In fact, you should be able to use it to reflect flame attack. Press and hold the square for those button to charge up. Then release the button to swing the shield. Hide your swing to hit incoming projectiles. Excellent. Your technique is very good. Hold on, Ryoichi. You won't be a prisoner much longer. I do not know you, but only a true Koopa could have reached this cage. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to alarm you, but my full name is Sly Cooper. Uh, I'm your relative... from the future. Do not worry, ninja are never alarmed. With all that has happened here lately, I believe you. Oh, oh, oh. Now perhaps you would open the cage so that we may escape certain death. Right, of course. After rescuing Ryuichi, we returned to the hideout. Unfortunately, there wasn't much time for family reunions. We needed to figure out what was going on, and fast. Ryuichi confirmed that the source of the trouble was the tiger we had tracked in the village, someone calling himself El Jefe. After some more database digging, Bentley was able to uncover his Interpol file. El Jefe had an impressive record. Over the years, he had taken over dozens of small countries around the globe usually for the highest bidder. He was a ruthless mercenary and military strategist of the highest order. In fact, he once boasted that he could overthrow a country commanding only three blind mice, armed with plastic spoons. According to his file, this guy had mysteriously vanished a while back, just as the authorities were closing in. Well, we had found him and we needed to take him down. It looked like we were in for a tough battle, so we decided to start with Ryoichi's Sushi Shop. Okay. 
face, Lai. It's time for Ryuichi to reclaim his sushi restaurant. It looks like the front door is the only entrance. We need to get rid of that guard if we're going to get Ryuichi inside. However, security is on high alert since we broke him out of jail, and we can't risk raising an alarm. I think this one is going to require some misdirection. What do you mean? I bet if you wore that samurai armor you stole, you'd be able to relieve that guard at the front door. Right. Plus, I just look good in armor. Please. No one gets in or out, understand? I don't want any more problems. Dismissed. your own place. Quite ingenious of you to use your sushi knives as door keys, by the way. Entity son, I am a ninja master. Right. Uh my bad. Anyway, my scan reveals your sushi knives are still here. The bad news is the guards definitely have them. There are also some security traps you've definitely never seen before. Entity son. Though the bamboo forest is dense, water flows through it without effort. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, just be careful not to alert the guards. Now get those knives and take your restaurant back. <laughs> I was unable to practice my techniques while locked in that cage. Let me recall the leaping dragon technique. First, I need to press and hold the R2 button to gather my focus, while using the left stick to direct my energy towards a target. Friends are strong allies. I am truly in their oh. debt. <gasps> this is my finest knife. My sashimi will be perfect. All right, Ryuichi. Only one more knife to go. <laughs> Must 
clear this world from my restaurant. First, I will reclaim my knives. Then, I will show El Hefe this shot cannot be closed. long time since we went fishing, Bentley. I'm excited. Well, this is no vacation, Murray. We need to help Ryuichi get back on track as a sushi chef. And what he needs most right now is fish. We're here because these caves are his secret spot for catching the best fish. Unfortunately, judging from this security lock, it looks like El Hafe's been here too. Can you open it, buddy? Are you kidding? I've never met a system I couldn't hack. Don't worry, Murray. We'll be fishing in no time. Commencing hack. All right, navigation is smooth and steady. The right stick should fire by fighter attack. Check. absorb those ion bits to level up. Of course, by combining multiple ionic particles, I can supercharge my attack. But taking damage will drop my valence level. Yes, a logic bomb. I need to grab that. Configuring the R1 button to detonate logic bombs. Jeez, these nanobots are swarming! I better blast them or stay out of their way! Those nano cannons are no joke! Too many hits and I'll crash! That's 
CPU is overclocked. I need to take it out before it reboots. Okay, Murray, we need to find the secret fishing hole. Let's try that gate over there. Think you can open it? No problem, chum. Fresh fish coming up. Hold up, Murray. Those mammoth lightning bugs will give you a nasty shock. Lucky for us, that large plant is a giant lamp leaf. Hitting it will make it glow and attract the bugs. Give it a whack and get those things out of our way. Awesome! You know how much I like to hit stuff. Careful jumping on those lily pads, Murray. This is one situation where your muscle mass may be problematic. Let's hurry. The fish should be biting right now. toy robot. I've calibrated its output to coincide with the fish's own bioelectric fields, so if I can keep it close enough, it should attract them like a charm. Talk about animal magnetism. I just need to tilt like this to move it around. Yeah, a scrumptious long-nosed snorkeler! Yes, a perfect speckled cave nipper. Here, fishy, fishy. Sweet juju bees. It's a rare giant bald of Lansky. Yep, a beautiful large mouth horse face. Yeah, fat big eyed bug eater. Yep, a delectable spotted snake mouth. Here, fishy, fishy. Nice catch, pal! Okay, Murray, take that fish to the cart. Murray, you won't be able to activate that plant while holding the fish. Try throwing them into that old cart. You can pick them up again after you get rid of those lightning bugs. Load. 
You think Ryoichi will make us some sushi as a reward? I'm not sure, but let's just get this fish back to him without El Jefe's goons turning us into sashimi? Never fear, Bentley! Nobody makes a hippo roll out of the Murray! The plan's simple. El Jefe only comes out of the castle to talk to Madame Geisha. If we want to know what he tells her, we're going to need her costume. The good news is, I discovered she's on vacation, and El Jefe doesn't know it yet. The bad news is, it looks like the Geisha house is locked up tight. There's no way to get in from the street. If only you could get to the roof. Ah, for a ninja, there is always a way. Okay. Talk to you inside, Bentley-san. Sun will fit into that outfit. Perhaps very flexible. <gasps> the 
These traps are almost too easy for a ninja. to try out my new code cracker. I need to guide the spark through the circuit before that timer runs out. Good thing I programmed the guidance system to use my motion sensor. I just need to tilt in the direction I want the spark to travel. The right button, the spark should jump the gap to the next wire. Eesh. If I roll off the grid, it's game over. There's the central port. Gotta get there before the system shuts down. Careful, that cable looks rather delicate. Have no fear, the Murray is here. Ah! Okay, Murray, it looks like we're going to have to try out your disguise a bit earlier than expected. I hope you remember the routine we rehearsed. You there! What's going on? Explain yourself! Konichiwa! I am the most famous Madam Geisha! Please allow me to entertain you! <laughs>
Okay, according to my calculations, this is the optimal location to launch the RC car. With the miniature microphone I installed, it should be a snap to follow El Jefe and see what he's up to. Looks like he's headed for the prison. Time to get rolling. Time to track that tiger. Larry's old chicken hat is going to come in handy, too. I just need to remember to press the L2 button to enable the perfect poultry camouflage. A chicken is trying to work like that. Even this magnificent prison pales when compared to my new statue fortress. New statue fortress? That must be where he's hiding out all the time. <laughs> Nobody would guess the palace gate switch is actually under the bridge. <laughs> You're messing with the wrong turtle, buddy. <laughs> Fishing caves. Good thing I sealed them. My dragon gates are invincible. As long as that lazy guard doesn't get distracted by sushi. Very interesting. I think we can probably help that guard out. <laughs> Even if those fools get to the dragon gates, they'll never figure out the switches are inside the dragon mouths. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent! Keep flapping those big lips, sucker! Now I just need to find that blasted Ryoichi, so I can deliver the package to the boss. Package? Boss? We need to figure out what's going on in that palace. Konnichiwa, Hefei-san! Greetings, Madam Geisha.
Archie. We need to collect samples from those strange plants growing high on the cave walls. Commonly known as the spiky wall climber, it secretes a mild toxin we can use to make sushi rolls that will put any guard to sleep instantly. Just be careful not to be overcome yourself. Bend to the sun, did I not explain? You're a ninja master, I know, I know. Hey, no, allow me to show you how it's done. Well, now at least I know where Sly gets it from. If Bentley's plan works, we can rid our land of this villainous tiger. I must strike the blossom to extract the poison. This compound will topple even the largest enemy. Ah, this... We have all the intel we need. El Jefe has played Dictator for the last time, and it's time to bring him down. First, we need to open those dragon gates. Thanks to Ryuichi's special sushi rolls, the guards are out for the count. Sly, you'll need to gain access to the switches in their mouths. Next, we'll need to open the palace sword gate. However, the bridge is crawling with guards, so we'll need to create a diversion. Murray, you, Sly, and myself will need to distract the guards. Once they're occupied, Ryuichi can make his way under the bridge to the switch and open the gate. Once we get that gate open, there's nothing stopping us from taking the palace and putting El Jefe in his place. Viva la revolucion! OK, 
day spy. Use those rollers to open the dragon bounce. You'll find the switches somewhere inside. And don't forget your armor. Something tells me those things have very bad breath. Cooper! Get them, you fools! Okay, you all know what to do. Time to kick some butt! My favorite time of the day! Let's do this.
It's my... Oh. Oh. My cane! Sorry, Cooper. You lose. I need to deliver this puny stick to a new owner. No! El Jefe is getting away! Don't worry, Ryuichi. Watch after these two. I'm gonna kick some tiger tail and get your cane back. of my statue. Ha! <laughs> Looks like a real pigeon magnet. Ha! I hope you can fly like a pigeon, Cooper. Otherwise, you'll never catch me. We'll see about that. Magnificent likeness, isn't it, Cooper? Almost as handsome as the real thing! Huh, yeah. Looks almost big enough to contain your overinflated ego. Take a nice long look. I want you to remember the one who crushed you! Looks to me like you've got nowhere left to run, El Jefe. Ready to face me now? <laughs> Sticking up for the family, eh, Cooper? Too bad you'll never see any of them again! <laughs> oh, Cooper! You've climbed so high! And now... You're gonna fall! Gotta dodge these fireballs and get close. Welcome to your doom, Cooper! Gotta dodge these fireballs and get close. Welcome to your doom, Cooper! Bring it on! something, Cooper. You're actually starting to annoy me. Oh, don't worry. I have that effect on all cowardly crime lords. <laughs> El Jefe. Hmm, isn't that Spanish for big baby? Ah! Enough of these stupid games! Wow, you're weak 
Chopper is such a tough guy. He sure runs away a lot. Jokes. Maybe if I had some cabin, he'd stop running away. <laughs> you got no chance! You ring tail rat! I have to get Ryoichi's cane back. Why won't you quit?
El Jefe was defeated, disgraced, and delivered to the cops. But it was a hollow victory. I'd failed to get back Ryuichi's cane, and we still had no idea who was really behind this whole thing. One thing was for sure, it was somebody powerful enough to have his own private army. We contacted Dimitri for an update on the Thievius Raccoonus, and it looked like Tennessee Kid Cooper needed our help next. That meant we needed to travel back to the 1880s. Luckily, one of the goons that took Ryuichi's king had dropped what looked like an old sheriff's badge. Bentley had been trying to figure out where it might be from, but now it all made sense. After sampling the badge, Bentley was able to calibrate the time machine. As we prepared to make the jump back to the Old West, I found myself wondering how Carmelita was doing. <laughs>